Technology Assessment (TAR), German Technikfolgenabschätzung, French Evaluation des Choix Scientifiques et Technologiques, is a scientific, interactive, and communicative process that aims to contribute to the formation of public and political opinion on societal aspects of science and technology. Topic: General Description. TAR is the study and evaluation of new technologies. It is based on the conviction that new developments within, and discoveries by, the scientific community are relevant for the world at large rather than just for the scientific experts themselves, and that technological progress can never be free of ethical implications. Also, technology assessment recognizes the fact that scientists normally are not trained ethicists themselves and accordingly ought to be very careful when passing ethical judgment on their own, or their colleagues, new findings, projects, or work in progress. Technology assessment assumes a global perspective and is future-oriented, not anti-technological. TAR considers its task as an interdisciplinary approach to solving already existing problems and preventing potential damage caused by the uncritical application and the commercialization of new technologies. Therefore, any results of technology assessment studies must be published, and particular consideration must be given to communication with political decision makers. An important problem concerning technology assessment is the so-called Collingridge dilemma. On the one hand, impacts of new technologies cannot be easily predicted until the technology is extensively developed and widely used. On the other hand, control or change of a technology is difficult as soon as it is widely used. Technology assessments, which are a form of cost-benefit analysis, are difficult if not impossible to carry out in an objective manner since subjective decisions and value judgments have to be made regarding a number of complex issues such as a, the boundaries of the analysis i.e., what costs are internalized and externalized b, the selection of appropriate indicators of potential positive and negative consequences of the new technology c, the monetization of non-market values, and d a wide range of ethical perspectives. Consequently, most technology assessments are neither objective nor value-neutral exercises but instead are greatly influenced and biased by the values of the most powerful stakeholders, which are in many cases the developers and proponents i.e., corporations and governments of new technologies under consideration. In the most extreme view, as expressed by Ian Barber in Technology, Environment, and Human Values, technology assessment is a one-sided apology for contemporary technology by people with a stake in its continuation. Some of the major fields of TAR are, information technology, hydrogen technologies, nuclear technology, molecular nanotechnology, pharmacology, organ transplants, gene technology, artificial intelligence, the Internet and many more. Health technology assessment is related, but profoundly different, despite the similarity in the name. Topic. Forms and concepts of technology assessment The following types of concepts of TAR are those that are most visible and practiced. There are, however, a number of further TAR forms that are only proposed as concepts in the literature or are the label used by a particular TAR institution. Parliamentary TAR PTA, TAR activities of various kinds whose addressee is a parliament. PTA may be performed directly by members of those parliaments e.g. in France and Finland or on the behalf of related TAR institutions such as in the UK, in Germany and Denmark or by organisations not directly linked to a parliament such as in the Netherlands and Switzerland. Expert TAR often also referred to as the classical TAR or traditional TAR concept, TAR activities carried out by a team of TAR and technical experts. 
Input from stakeholders and other actors is included only via written statements, documents and interviews, but not as in participatory TAR. Participatory TAR PTA, TAR activities which actively, systematically and methodologically involve various kinds of social actors as assessors and discussants, such as different kinds of civil society organizations, representatives of the state systems, but characteristically also individual stakeholders and citizens lay persons, technical scientists and technical experts. Standard PTA methods include consensus conferences, focus groups, scenario workshops etc. Sometimes PTA is further divided into expert stakeholder PTA and public PTA including lay persons. Constructive TAR CTA, this concept of TAR, developed in the Netherlands, but also applied and discussed elsewhere attempts to broaden the design of new technology through feedback of TAR activities into the actual construction of technology. Contrary to other forms of TAR, CTA is not directed toward influencing regulatory practices by assessing the impacts of technology. Instead, CTA wants to address social issues around technology by influencing design practices. Discursive TAR or argumentative TAR, this type of TAR wants to deepen the political and normative debate about science, technology and society. It is inspired by ethics, policy discourse analysis and the sociology of expectations in science and technology. This mode of TAR aims to clarify and bring under public and political scrutiny the normative assumptions and visions that drive the actors who are socially shaping science and technology. Accordingly, argumentative TAR not only addresses the side effects of technological change, but deals with both broader impacts of science and technology and the fundamental normative question of why developing a certain technology is legitimate and desirable. Health TAR HTA, a specialized type of expert TAR informing policy makers about efficacy, safety and cost effectiveness issues of pharmaceuticals and medical treatments, see Health Technology Assessment. <laughs> Technology assessment institutions around the world Many TAR institutions are members of the European Parliamentary Technology Assessment EPTA network, some are working for the STOA panel of the European Parliament and formed the European Technology Assessment Group ETAG. Centre for Technology Assessment TAR Swiss, Bern, Switzerland Institute of Technology Assessment ETA of the Austrian Academy of Sciences, Vienna Institute for Technology Assessment and Systems Analysis, Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, Germany Former Office of Technology Assessment OTA. The Danish Board of Technology Foundation, Copenhagen Norwegian Board of Technology, Oslo Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology, Post, London Rathenau Institute, The Hague Science and Technology Options Assessment STOA Panel of the European Parliament, Brussels Science and Technology Policy Research SPRU, Sussex Department of Science, Technology and Policy Studies, University of Twente T. B. C. See also Collingridge Dilemma Technology Technology Dynamics Technology Forecasting Technology Readiness Level Technology Transfer <laughs>